Now, before we dive into our full forecast, starting off, this is what we are looking at right now with the Borel fire, this being towards the Lake Isabella area and towards Bodfish, that general region. This is a live camera. This is what we're seeing right now. There's quite a bit of smoke. Not only that, there are multiple evacuation orders in place. There is also a red flag warning in place. Now, this applies to the Kern County Mountains, which you could see in this pink color. This includes Lake Isabella and Kernville. And with that, we're expecting to see wind gusts between 30 to 40 miles per hour and very low humidity levels, making this perfect conditions for fires to not only start, but to also spread within the area, considering there is a fire there right now. But otherwise, we are seeing again, we see quite a bit of smoke in Lake Isabella, 97 degrees there. We see 106 degrees in Bakersfield, and you could see some of that smoke still. Down towards the Hatchapi, we're seeing 90 degrees, and in Fraser Park, we're looking into the 80s, so quite a bit cooler. And tonight, we're expecting to be mostly between the 60s into the 70s throughout the county. But tomorrow we can expect temperatures to pick up to 103 degrees in the desert and as low as 83 degrees in the mountains. And it, we are expecting things to be quite a bit cooler because here in the valley we have a high of 96 degrees for tomorrow. In the Kern River Valley we're looking at 92 degrees. Air quality is uh, considered unhealthy just for sensitive groups. However, there is a wind advisory in effect this in the Mojave Desert slopes and we're already seeing some pretty strong winds right now. Now this is in effect until tomorrow morning around 6 a.m. And as we head later into tonight, we do see those winds picking up 40 miles per hour here towards Mojave. And again, it's really more focused in those desert areas and should die down in the morning. But throughout this advisory, we're expecting winds between 15 to 25 mile, miles per hour, but gusts could be up to 45 miles per hour. So that is something to keep in mind. Again, in the morning, things are expected expected to calm down. However, as we head into the afternoon, things are going to pick up yet again around this time tomorrow, getting close to 30 miles per hour and higher than that. But now let's look at the next seven days starting off tomorrow in the valley. We have a high of 96 degrees and a low of 67 seven degrees. Air quality is unhealthy for sensitive groups. We're looking at clear and sunny skies and we're staying within the 90s throughout most of the week until we head into those triple digits starting Thursday. As for the mountains, Lake Isabella starting off in the 90s, warming up into those triple digits. Fridge Park to Hatchapi 80s into the 90s.